Hello everybody, today I'd like to do a quick video on how to do a simple alignment on a BC348 receiver. I didn't see any um, videos on how to do this on YouTube. I've been having this one for about 20 years and uh, there wasn't any YouTube at the time, so, uh, so I thought I'd add a quick video. So um, there are a couple, a couple things to do here. Uh, on the, you can do the IF section if you have a signal generator. The IF on this radio is 915 KCs. If you use the crystal filter, you may want to align the IF at the exact frequency of the crystal filter, which will be a, around 915, but you can determine that by dialing around. Then set your, uh, your signal generator um, to, to uh, align the IFs. Instead of getting into connecting to the tubes and all that, all I do is I just loop a piece of wire around these IF transformers here. Use a simple alignment tool like this to adjust the bottom of the can of the uh, transformer and a little blade tool to adjust the top. If your radio is working fine, these IFs are pretty wide. I would say uh, uh, adjusting the uh, IF or checking the IF is optional. But what's real important is to adjust these the uh, antenna RF detector and oscillator uh, trimmers in the back here to make this radio work properly. So the first thing you want to do is adjust the oscillator. There's going to be an adjustment for each fan, one through six, and so what is the oscillator adjustment? The oscillator is simply a dial calibration point for each band. So you're, that's going to be your choice where you want this dial to line up accurately. There's no crystal calibrator or any other way to, to do interim uh, adjustments when you're using the radio, so you only have one adjustment point. So what I do, I set up uh, certain frequencies that I like to be accurate and then there may be some compromises elsewhere on the dial. So these are the ones I do in band one, 500 KCs, band two, I set it up for the broadcast band at 1600, band three, WWV, five and six are also WWV, and on band four, I, I, I calibrate the dial for the 40 meter ham band. So th these are your choice. Um, you know, you can set the dial up to work accurately wherever you want. Then we're gonna do a touch up on the antenna connection, uh, antenna trimmers, the RF and detector for each band. So what you want to do then is go to band one and the manual wants you to uh, use the high side of the band. So you dial up the dial up to the high side of the band. You don't need a signal generator to do this. All you need is a simple uh, cheap voltmeter. I use an AC voltmeter like this to peak the audio. So whether you're listening to a station or just the noise, or even if you don't have a, a voltmeter, and, and um, you can just go in here and peek these up. So go to band one, adjust screw number one for the, uh, for the antenna, for the RF, and the detector on the high side of the band, and then you're done with band one. You already did the oscillator um, uh, setting. Then you go to band two, and you do the same thing on band two. Tune, tune, up, tune up the screws on the high side of the band for, for, uh, for the trimmers that say number two. Then you do likewise for each band. Now, just one little caution, on uh, bands five and six, some of the trimmers are through the top of the cans here. So you just go to the high side of each band, peek these things up, whether you use a signal generator or just a voltmeter or just your ear on the noise, you'll get good results with this. This is really easy to do, and then you'll find the receivers a lot more fun to use after you've uh, peeked this up here. There's not a lot that, can, that you can do wrong with this. So once you have it, uh, the oscillator set, to, to set the dial accurately at the, whatever point you're interested in and pick up those other trimmers, I think you're going to find your radio is going to be real fun to use. Thanks and have a good day.